Welcome everyone to another Edgewater Full Scope Dynamics 365 video presentation. My name is Bill Kinahan. I'm a senior solution architect with Full Scope, and today we'll be concentrating on the field service application within Dynamics 365. Today we'll, we'll look at the flow of a, a field service work order um, from start to finish. So the first part of that is a, a case, the, the customer service side in Dynamics 365. Um, where a case gets created if someone has an issue, a problem, a question, things like that. From there, I have the ability to create a work order. Now, I also have the ability to create a work order off an opportunity if there needs to be an installation or something done after that opportunity has been created, or I can just create a work order um, by itself without having it tied to a case or an opportunity. From there, the, the work order gets created in the system um, with different things attached to it, so like an incident type. And an incident type is comprised of things that actually need to happen when, when the service tech is out on site doing the work. So those could be specific tasks that need to be completed, products that will be used, as well as services that will actually be completed when they're on site as well. After that, it's the scheduling of the work order, um, which is done through the schedule board. So again, you can look at skills and territory and things like that, that to uh, allow for the appropriate resource to be associated to that work order. Then the on-site happens and on-site, the field technician has the ability to look at that work order, complete those tasks, use those products, complete those services, and then ultimately complete that work order and send it back in for closure. Now the three areas of, of uh, the system that we're working with today is the customer service side, the dispatch side, and then the field technician. So the customer service uh, rep would create the case, okay? Um, re ultimately resolve the case, create the work order, and confirm that the work order is complete after it has been done. Um, dispatch is gonna schedule those resources, assign them to the appropriate people, um, and maybe base it off of a territory or a skill or, or, or a specific resource. And then thirdly, the field technician will actually do that work order in the field, complete it, um, do any tasks, anything else that may need to be done out in the field as well. So now takes, let's take a look at field service. So now we're looking at the case management side within um, Dynamics 365, and you can see that we've got a need for a new cable to be installed. Now I just clicked on a case within the system, and this is actually the customer service side of Dynamics 365, but from here I have the ability to actually initiate a work order. So you can see I've got some details. We need new cable installed. It's for Northwind Traders. It came in by phone. Here's the contact. And you can see this incident type is installation. That is what's going to key and create the proper type of work order for us. So I'm going to go up here to the ellipse and just click on convert this to a work order. What's going to happen is it's going to look on the account. It's going to look at the, this incident type and determine what type of work order needs to be created for us. And you can see I've got a little pop-up here. Work order was created successfully. Would you like to open it? Yeah, we'll click on OK. And now it's going to open this new work order that has been created for us. Now, on the work order, I actually don't need to do too much. The work order has been completed, has been, sorry, created, um, and has a lot of detail on it already. I may have to add a few things along the way. Uh, maybe a work order summary, so make sure, make sure to close the gate after little details that are specific to this work order but uh, otherwise the work order is pretty much ready to go you can see I've got multiple things that tied to it I've got my service tasks just do a little refresh so we can see them pop up things that we need to do specifically on site so I've got I want to do a site assessment I want to do an installation and then I'm gonna get a signature from there so from here Looks like the work order is in pretty good shape. The only thing we need to do now is associate a resource to go out and, and complete that work order. For that, I'm going to go up to the field service and I'm going to click on the schedule board. Now the schedule board gives me the ability to schedule work orders. It also allows me ability to schedule other entities within the system as well, including projects and things along those lines. Now, if you see on the board, this is like a calendar view of this board. You can see I've got various tasks already um, our various work orders already on the board. I can click on unscheduled work orders down here and you can see there's our new work order that has just been created. I'm gonna associate this work order with David. Now we have a group of resources along the left hand side and I can filter these resources down based on territory and the specific skill set that I'm looking for. In this case, I know I wanna associate it to David. 
So I'm going to scroll down, and we can see we've got David's name here. He's got no work right now. He's zero utilization. I can go in and grab this work order and just drag it onto the appropriate time in David's schedule. I'm going to drag it, on, drag it on there and drop it onto his schedule. And now this work order has been assigned to David to complete for today. Next, we'll jump over and take a look at the field service from a mobile capacity where somebody like a field service technician would have the ability to look at that work order and work through it. So this now is the work order in the mobile client. So this is the mobile client. You can see I've got various items along the left-hand side here. I'm looking at it from a tablet view right now. I could look at this on my phone as well. It's just a form factor difference. But I can see that I've got a work order that's been created for us today, okay? I'm David now, the field technician, and you can see I've got different details associated to this work order. So it's the same thing that we just saw in the browser. Got different details. You can say, make sure to talk to Alex before starting work. All these different, make sure the gate, close the gate after we're done with it. So this is a work order I'm gonna start to work on. So I'm gonna actually change this status from scheduled to in progress. That's going to be an identifier back to anybody who's looking at it in the browser that this work order is now started. I'm going to go in. I can look at the different details, as I mentioned before. I'm just going to scroll down. We've got the address information. We've got mapping, everything available to us here as well. But I'm going to start to complete some of these tasks. So the first thing I wanted to do was complete a site assessment, assess the site for any safety or installation concerns. Yeah, we've done that. I'm going to complete this. And now that is marked as complete within the work order. And I can also do the same for the other things. So if I go through the installation as well, I can go in, say we completed the installation. And then lastly, we want to get a signature for this work order as well. I can scroll down and get somebody's signature on here. Now that signature is actually stored as a note within the system. Um, tied to this work order. So again, if you want to go back and reference that in the future, you're able to see that the customer actually signed off on this work order. And then lastly, we, we said we got the signature. Go in, complete this signature. Now I've done all the tasks that are assigned to this work order. I can now go back and complete the work order and say it's been done. So I'm going to go back and change this status to completed, save the record, and now this completed work order has been removed from my agenda or from my calendar and has gone back up into the system. If I go look at the status of our work order within the system, I can do a little refresh and you can see now the color of the work order has changed to completed and this work order is essentially closed. And that completes the overview video of Dynamics 365 Field Service. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager and they'll be more than happy to help you.